Hello. Um, this is an update to my custom loop with all-in-one liquid cooling plugs and pumps, uh, which is like a everybody saying, "Don't do it," because these are aluminium uh, radiators. So people say it will corrode those. But um, if I would say, if you take precautions and buy liquid that is uh, compatible with mixed metals like aluminium and copper and brass, uh, uh, and there is a, a trap for people out there, like there is a corrosion inhibitors inside the liquids and they say they are uh, prevent the corrosion on the copper, aluminium, steel, brass and whatever, but they might not uh, protect with the mixed systems and they will corrode that way. So it's like a, they are just a one metal type uh, loops or with the loops that are has what was that called again uh, el electrolyte compatibility or something like that so they don't make uh, batteries out of themselves and corrode each other so yeah I have um, what I Cool laboratory, cool and bro something liquid. It's blue and it's good for mixed metals, or at least it should be. And well, uh, well, the back to the problem. The my current problem is this middle section here that connects these two radiators together. Uh, it was fine with my old motherboard. Uh, it had a little problem with the uh, wireless adapter, which was pushing this a little bit inwards or outwards, depending on how you manage to put it inside. Uh, but I have to modify this. And uh, the reason why I need to modify is that is because of this. Uh, so this is an Asus uh, P8 Z77i Deluxe, if I remember correct, uh, I think it reads somewhere. Yeah, around there, yeah. And the problem is this uh, extra board here called Doctor Board, which is the uh, voltage regulation module or whatever it was called. Uh, this just doesn't work <laughs> with that tube because it will uh, push the tube upwards and the tube will kink then and you won't get the flow that <laughs> then and then you will have uh, lots of problems. So I need to modify this a little bit. So here I'm trying to demonstrate uh, so those radiators have these uh, power poses uh, built in and you can change them. So there is a 6mm bar pose on those and here is a 90 degree angle bar pose adapter which is uh, has should have 8mm inner diameter and the Inside is like ten, 9 or 10. I think it's 10. Yeah, and uh, my plan is to push uh, this adapter inside and this 6 millimeter by heating this uh, white adapter and pushing it inside so it becomes a 90 degree bend. And I will put a, uh, a hose here. And hopefully uh, it will fix the problem that hose is touching the, that doctor bought and 
I'm fine with this. Then uh, the problem is that it might make not cool seal, so I'm going to wrap this. Um, this is what uh, what we called in English. Uh, uh, well, I think it's, it's a pipe tape or something that you wrap around the pipes and it will make a seal around it when you connect two of two pipes together something like that so I'm using that to fix that problem uh, what else uh, well I think that's pretty much it uh, I have the fixed uh, fitting inside there now uh, I didn't uh, use the metal clamps to hold it down because I'm sure it would break down if I tighten it and it will just snap in two again. So I just used zip ties to do it. So, so in the I think in the next video you will see the loop being filled and maybe you can see the leaks that might happen. I hope they won't happen but I'm prepared for that to happen. And I hope it won't happen because it it's not uh, cleaning the liquid outside. Uh, li cleaning the leaked liquid 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 cleaning the leaked liquid it's going to be a little bit problem. Yeah, I think it's about seven minutes now. So, see you in the next video.